Hello everybody and welcome to the SB Game Fun channel. Um, this is going to be a random one for today, a short video on the new keyboard I just purchased for my business. Um, I will also be using it for this channel as well. This is not a product sponsored video and I'm not affiliated with Amazon. Amazon just happens to be where I purchased the keyboard so uh, there will be a link in the, of the product below if you're interested. Um, so let's take a look at where this started. Um, to make a long story short, my son's keyboard recently died. Uh, he used his he uses his PC and for schooling and gaming and that kind of stuff. So he can be pretty hard on it at times. So uh, um, he lost function on a number of the buttons. So I purchased him a new keyboard. Um, the, I got him a Red Dragon S101 wired RGB backlit gaming keyboard and a mouse combo. He loves it. He likes it. I mean, uh, no complaints from me. Um, but I'm not going to be talking about that keyboard on this video. This video will be about um, the keyboard I purchased, the Red Dragon K582 Surara Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. So here you go, take a look at it. This is the box it came in. Front and back. There you go. It's nice little packaging. Um, let's go ahead and open it up here. Let me get the knife out. Do not cut up, cut into your body. I don't want anyone to get injured. Let's, where's this here? Oh, clearly I didn't do a very good cut here. So let's take a look at this side here. There we go. Whoa! Oops, I'll set that up here. So here's the keyboard in this bubble wrap. This is looks like it's mostly ABS plastic. Yeah, I didn't buy the metal one. So there you go. It has the uh, tool for you to remove the keys. I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Or I'll just show it somewhere in the video here. And it also comes with additional keys or uh, replacement keys just in case in the event you have any problems. I'm pretty sure you can uh, buy these online. I've seen them. Um, these mechanical keyboard types allow for quite a bit of, a, I think, a flexibility. So you can buy more clickable keys. I think those are the blacks and the blues. but. What you're looking at here is the red. So, here, let's take a look at this red. Sorry for the motorcycle noise back there. See, so here is the red. Let me focus in on that. There you go. So these are the Red Dragon Red switches. These are linear top to bottom switches. Here. They require less force to press down, so you, so what you get is a nice, smoother uh, tap when you're typing. Uh, according to the specs, there is no tactile bump, uh, as you can see here. I'm pretty sure that that will show when I actually start using it. The more often I use it, I'll, I'll be able to tell it, but I'm not certain what a tactile bump means. <laughs> this keyboard is designed also with the, the N key rollover or as uh, I think that it's an abbreviation called NKRO. I think Tom's Hardware, um, I'm gonna quote Tom's Hardware, it says it is the ability to scan each button press individually as opposed to having the PC do it. As a result, they Every pressed button or key is noted, even if you're pressing a bunch of keys simultaneously. So this feature gives the keyboard 100% anti-ghosting on all 104 keys, ensuring the most accurate simultaneous key presses. So I guess uh, for gamers, 
It, uh, you're mashing keys quite a bit at times. Um, I find myself mashing it all the time. I've been doing it, uh, gosh, for over 20 years, <laughs> mashing keys So uh, on games and stuff. So uh, yeah, um, it is fully uh, programmable. So you can uh, reassign any key or set up your own macros for your particular gaming needs. I mean, I don't typically do macros, so I'm not too worried about it, but I know there are a lot of people out there who do use macros, so you can set it, set it up however you like. And then um, the keyboard has a dynamic RGB backlight, so it has six backlight themes that you can um, scroll through. I believe here function, and one through six. Um, and it has 18 backlight modes for typing or gaming in the dark for those who game in the dark. You can also use adjust the brightness uh, of those keys with the function up and down right here. And there, there are some few other features here as well. So this keyboard uh, is compatible with Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Mac OS X, uh, Windows XP, and God forbid for those who are still using Windows Vista. Um, so, um, that's pretty much the specs for this keyboard. I'm going to give you a few shots of the close-up and then maybe some of me using it. And uh, hopefully you like this, uh, what you see. And if you're interested, again, the link down below. You can uh, check it out yourself if you like it, don't like it. And if you got more money, take a look at some of the more fancier metal brushed metal aluminum ones that are there as well. Okay, that's it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, I got a lot of games here. This is one of those random ones I'm doing because it's part of the gaming stuff. But um, hope you'll come back, check out the other videos, and, uh, and check out what the channel's about. So until next time, have a good one.